Hello everybody. Uh, in activity 6.3 you're going to create a causal map uh, to analyze the process of learning uh, with an advanced organizer. Um, so what you're going to be doing is uh, trying to structurally organize uh, up to 15 different events or variables that sort of depict uh, what it, the process is like to learn when students use advanced organizers. Uh, so to create your causal map, you're going to download an Excel file. Uh, and uh, to see the v window, you'll probably want to uh, uh, pull back or shrink the window down a bit so you can see everything on the screen. And essentially what you're going to do is um, connect these nodes with arrows to convey uh, their sequential order as well as how these different events uh, are causally interrelated. So let's say if I thought that uh, variable number 13 uh, lead, leads to or impacts variable 4, uh, I can simply click the mouse um, by onto each node and move them into position. Uh, to move them to, in, into a different position, you have to make sure you position the cursor on the edge of the node. And when you see the crosshairs, push the mouse down, hold it down, uh, and while you're holding the mouse down, drag it into position. To connect the nodes, if I think 13 impacts 14, and then click on an arrow down here. Uh, hold the mouse, left mouse button down, drag the arrow into position. And here's where it's critical. Uh, you need to place the cursor on the white circles and then lay them directly onto one of the four edges on the node uh, and position it right onto the red square. And when you release the mouse, mouse uh, you'll link that arrow or connect it to the node. Likewise on the other end of the node. Place the cursor on the white circle and then position it on top of one of the red square. Release. And the white circles should then appear as red circles. So from then on, if you were to reposition any of the nodes, you'll find that the arrows move with the nodes. And there you have it. So please read the instructions carefully. Again, uh, uh, please don't copy and paste the arrows. Simply use the arrows that are provided down here at the left corner. Uh, don't change any of the texts in the labels or nodes. Uh, you can use as many arrows as you feel is necessary. And then also uh, keep all the nodes and the arrows located inside the white uh, workspace. So. Uh, there you have it, and thank you for tuning in, and good luck on your causal maps.